What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Sean P. The Blunt Guy. Hey! And we are back again with another One Piece post-chapter discussion. So, we will be talking about One Piece chapter 1064 and moving forward. Like, any predictions, any theories, all of that in this video today. But before we get into that, Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Also, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and theories on the chapter, on the recent chapter, right? Uh, also, follow me on Twitch so you can catch me live and you can engage with me in real time. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And join the Discord. Come be a part of the community. Maybe you could be a part of a future discussion uh stream or you know you can also send me content to react to you can send me one piece content to react to you can send me other content to react to and maybe i'll react to it on like a, a a chill stream or something but yeah that's the best place to send me stuff to react to is the discord but all right so here we're here today to talk about the chapter and today we got the joy boy and I'm about to bring him on in a second. So, well, let's not waste any time. Let's bring him in. All right. So today we got the joy boy with us and we might have cube come in later. I don't know, but for now, this is going to be me and the joy boy. So what's up? The joy boy. Uh, what? So how you feel about the chapter? You know, what was your thoughts on the chapter? the end i mean actually seeing some of the fight then like the, even like some stuff being dropped with bonnie and kuma the, i think that's pretty interesting the to get to talk about new new outfits new, new fits. outfits new, the new fits <laughs> looking drippy and then of course who got the best day. fit who got the best fit though Robin, Robin, hands down, <laughs> hands down. Hey, I might have to agree with that. You know, Robin always got the best fits, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> got got a got a rest, rest in peace to my boy Brooke. Not not being there, he missing out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's for reason, though. You know, I I I, I was rereading the chapter earlier. And I think that is for good reason, but I'll talk about that. Uh, I'll talk about that when we get there. So, I mean, overall, what you thought about the chapter, though? Like a good chapter, decent oh, chapter, no. great chapter, great, great chapter. chapter. Okay, yeah, I think I think every all the chapters we've been getting have, just, have been great. You know this, I, yeah. This one, I would say, uh, no, nah, I would definitely say it's a great chapter because we got a lot of good Blackbeard moments and and. Uh, Mm -hmm. I almost I almost forgot about the Blackbeard moment, so uh, I I kind of you know I was about to say you know it's a good chapter you know we didn't really get much but no we did get much we got Blackbeard versus Law which you know which you know that was good that was a good thing so but yeah let's get let's get into the discussion though you know I just I like to get your guys opinions on the chapter you know I thought that I I, I like that chapter I, I've been liking I've been really enjoying all these chapters we've been getting since the end of Wano, you know, I mean, Wano loved Wano, you know, I loved Wano, the end, the end kind of like, it wasn't necessarily how it ended, it was just what we didn't get, you know, that yeah. was kind of my gripe with Wano, we didn't get, we never got anything about Zoro, like him almost dying, we never get, like mm -hmm. got any closure on that, even though, uh, I think I heard a theory about um, when it came to Zoro meeting the, uh, Death uh, Shinigami. I forgot who who, who talked about that, but y'all said it could have been. Um, I forgot what I the theory that I heard about that. It could oh it could have been the um, Kabater man of Pluton. That's that was a theory I heard about the. I didn't the hear that Grim Reaper. You didn't hear that? I don't know where I heard that. But That's interesting. I forgot where I heard that. Like, who I heard say that. But I, I definitely heard it from somebody. I, 
I, I didn't, you know, I didn't come up with that theory myself, but I, I, it might have been Desmond. I, I, I'm not sure. I can't remember who said that, but they said that because uh, Pluton, we we learned Pluton being under Wano, right? We we learned Pluton being under Wano, so and we know that ships tend to get like spirits, right? Like a lot of ships have spirits called Cloverton Man, right? Like we seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Mary, the Go and Mary early, like in Sky Pier, we seen the Go and Mary's Clobberton Man, right? So maybe what Zoro seen was the Clobberton Man of Pluton. You know, that was the theory that I heard. And I'm like, you know, it, 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 I'm trying to think, was it, was it, uh, it might have been Dak Saki. It might have been him. I'm not sure. I don't really remember, you know, like might have been him in the uh, chat or something. But yeah, I, I thought that was I thought that was interesting. But yeah, so well, I know we didn't get much of, you know, I, I, we never got the closure with Zoro met like the the Grim Reaper he met. Uh, anything about him exploring Wano and talking to Ryuma, or or going to see Ryuma's grave? You know what I mean? Or there was Kaido showing type of some type of awakening. You know what I mean? Yeah. But despite that, ever since the ending of Wano, we've been getting fire after fire, I would say. In my opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think pretty much, like, once once Green Bull showed up, like, I I don't think there's been a chapter that's, like, been okay. Like, I, I think they've all been at least good chapters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. I agree with that. I was thinking of like, one. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, and like a, a lot of the Wano stuff, like it is disappointing that it, like some of it, didn't get closed up in Wano. Yeah. But I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm sure they will learn about it later. Yeah, I'm, and I'm fine it, with that. Yeah. I'm fine with that if we get something later, because maybe, maybe Oda just didn't. Maybe he's saving it for something, right? Like, maybe he's saving some of the stuff. Like, let's say Zoro meeting Ryuma might be relevant later or something. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, we're not meeting Ryuma, but going to his grave. You know, yeah. I don't I don't know how it would be re- relevant later, but it's older. So, you know, you got you to gotta trust in, in Golda, man. You got to trust in him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So, uh, getting into the chapter, you know, getting into the chapter. Uh, we start... Uh, Going into the cover page, right? We learned the two characters. You know, you you was fifty percent right, right? And Angel was also fifty percent right as well. You know, well, I'll, I'll go with like sixty six. You know, because <laughs> <laughs> you, you got to factor in pudding there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I I'll go. I'll, I'll factor that in. You you got a point. You got a point right there. So I, even though there was somebody in the Discord, uh, if, if you guys know Tone, he's been on these discussions before, and he he guessed it. Like he he showed like he showed receipts of like a conversation that he had like twenty seven weeks ago with somebody. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Where that he was, was pretty much saying that was Auger because the shoes. You know, he, he even showed the shoes and... Yeah, I read through it, yeah. I don't think he guessed the, the pudding aspect of it, but he did say... I don't no, even he, know if he... Uh, Go ahead. He, he was, uh, yeah, he was guessing Augur, but, like, later in the comments, like, someone was asking him why would they be there, and he said uh, putting in Big Mom's uh, Poneglyph. Okay. All right, so, yeah, he... I, did he guess Alkiji as well? I'm pretty sure he did. I don't remember if he guessed Alkiji, but uh, yeah, so he guessed it. You know, you you was six, like you say, you were sixty six percent right, and then Angel was about thirty three percent because he said Van Auger, and I I don't know if he guessed uh, Alkiji and that they was there for pudding, but you know he he was he was partially right too. We gotta give him that. Like he he could be right for the the portion that you was wrong at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, we learned that it is Aokiji and uh, Auger, you know, like which made sense because Auger has the warp fruit, but we didn't yep. know about that weeks ago, right? We didn't know about the whole warp fruit thing. Um, and that does give us a little bit of context to when he got the fruit too. And what you mean by that? Um, because it, well, if they did use the warp fruit. To go to uh, Big Mom's Island, we, we, we would kind of know, a, like, when he, we know he had it, right? Oh, like, you know, you saying we know he had it uh, since Whole Cake? Like, depending on when they went to Whole Cake, which it would, prob- it would probably be, like, somewhere in Wano. Like, sometime in Wano. Yeah. Yeah. Some. I mean, could have had it before, but I don't know. It's like we, it's, I mean, he could have had it at the same time that uh, Shilu and, and, and Katarina had their devil fruits, you know, like he, he was never right. shown. I don't, I don't remember, but, but yeah, we know he at least had it since that point. You know what I mean? So yes, yes. It's not yeah. like he got it uh, like after Wano. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and they also have pudding, which I want to segue to a port just a little ahead in the chapter, since I feel as though this chapter or this this cover page is relevant. You know, it's, I feel as though it's just a good segue to this part of the chapter where we see pudding on the ship on the Blackbeard ship, and she says she pretty much says like, "Look, if Big Mom is still alive." Uh, then you guys are in trouble, right? That like that was, that was pretty much what she stated to the guards that was protect or, or guarding her, and it just makes me think, right? It makes me think if Big Mom did come back into the story, Blackbeard, like I was thinking, like I know that she would want revenge for being defeated. By Law and Kid and Luffy, it's it still she still wants revenge for Luffy. I would assume, right? Like that's her whole yeah. that's the whole reason why she went to Wano in the first place to get that revenge, yeah. and she never got it. So seeing how Big Mom seemed like she's you know she's not someone to forget. Like once you do her wrong, you're an enemy, right? But I'm thinking. Right, I'm thinking if Big Mom is still alive, which part of me believes she is, but the fact that Oda hasn't given us anything about her and Kaido, it just makes me think, could they potentially be dead? But part of me still think that they're, they're both still alive, right? Um, and if they're alive, if they're alive, uh, I'm thinking that Blackbeard having pudding might actually override or or it might actually trump her need for revenge from Law, Kid, and Luffy. So that could, in a sense, turn her to be somewhat of an ally is, is where I'm getting at. You know what I mean? Like, it could, it could maybe make her a temporary ally to Luffy. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, maybe not even like where they get along, but she just kind of set her difference aside and be like, you know, I'm out after you. I need to get put in back. You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what do you think? What do, you, how do you think that's gonna play if Big Mom comes back into the story, and what, how that's going to influence her uh, purpose in the story? Like, what, what, what do you think? Oh. Like I, I, I do think she's still alive. My my main question, whether or not like how she survived or whatever right now, is is, is she gonna have amnesia? Yeah. And yeah. like, because that's another path, and like, just from like how often she's had amnesia and stuff, like, it's very possible that could happen again. Yeah. I don't know if Oda want to go that route. People, yeah, yeah. People wasn't liking sure. the amnesia uh, 
the whole amnesia thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. But it's like that that's kinda like one of her tropes. But like if if she doesn't though, like Because uh, I'm just because she would definitely find out Pudding was gone is gone missing because I'm sure like word would be sent to the other Big Mom pirates right mm -hmm. eventually. Um, when she gets I mean, the whole she has cake. the best. Yeah, she she wouldn't even have to do that right because she has like the best line of communication. Yeah, best okay. like in the series, I'm pretty sure it stated that. Yeah. Um, and I mean the probably the pirates or the the other pirates from Big Mom's Island would just go to Wano. Um, I mean, I don't even think she needs a, a, a communication network to find that out. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just simply like, if if the other, the, the crew that was outside of Wano, the Big Mom crew that was outside of Wano, yeah. if they get her, right, if they found her and they picked her up, then I'm pretty sure the ones that are still in Whole Cake Island are going to be like, hey, you know, we got something to report. Uh, Blackbeard's uh, crew came, froze a bunch of people, stole pudding. You know what I mean? And then yeah, yeah, no, that that's how I'm saying she'd find out. Yeah, like, but would she go after pudding? Like, she knows her th third eye isn't awakened yet. Like, but it's the potential though, because. She's, yeah, yeah, there's definitely a potential. Because Pudding is like, still Big Mom's best bet to read yeah. in Poneglyphs, as yeah. of now. Yeah. You know, like, she don't yeah. really... It's not like she has Robin or anything, and or somebody like Robin, so that'll kind of be her best bet at the moment. Like, because what I'm thinking, like, her her, her biggest problems, like, is, like the with the people she has against right now would probably be what law uh law kid blackbeard over luffy i would think no so yeah i mean but i don't know if it'd be like an allyship or like it would be probably kind of like how like the ulti uh mm -hmm. situation happened with otama yeah where yeah, she just yeah, ignores yeah. them pretty much and just yeah. goes after <laughs> that's kind of what i was thinking thing. that's what i was thinking like because I would think even now, like, even if Blackbeard didn't have Pudding, she would go after Law over Luffy right now. Yeah. More than likely. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I could see it being like that where she just like, you know what, Law? Like, I'm not worried about you right now. I got to get my daughter back. You know, some some along that line. That's kind of how I see that dynamic. Yeah, because uh, that would be interesting if she just showed up to the, the Law-Blackbeard fight. Yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah, I don't think she's gonna show up then, but it just it's just a matter of how long Blackbeard keeps her, right? You know, like I, I think I don't think she's showing up now, so or so I don't so I think that Blackbeard after this fight he's gonna still have possession of pudding and you know, he's just gonna have her probably till like most of to the end of the series almost, to like maybe a major war or whatever. You know, I, I don't know, though. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I, I just find that interesting. And, and, and another thing I really liked have, was how well this cover story kind of eventually integrated into the, the, the current story, you know, because we don't really yeah. get that often, right? Like, I mean, the, the only other time I think. I mean, it's been like minor things. Yeah. Like, like. Lucci, right? Like Rob Lucci's cover story, and then he ended up coming back later in the series. But it was it's the fact that the cover story is still happening. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. literally in the same page, the cover story we get uh Von Auger and and Alkiji taking put in the same the same chapter we get Von Auger, you know, with with Blackbeard with putting as a prisoner in the ship right so i it's like oda kind of had to had to give us that portion in the uh cover page because he was going to give it he, you know he was going to eventually give it to us in the current timeline so 
I thought that was dope. So it just makes me think that we could get like a whole Mads reunion. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Kinda kinda segue into like a possible Mads reunion where we get uh Judge Caesar and possibly them meeting up with Vegapunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. And thinking about well, that it, all the Go ahead. It would all have to happen pretty soon, I guess. <laughs> That's true. Or what I was about to say was maybe they uh, came to Egghead Island before the Straw Hats showed up. You know what mm. I mean? Like it, it could have been because all that, like them escaping Whole Cake Island, happened during Wano, right? Like we know that. Like it, it happened. Like all this happened during Wano, or, or the cover page isn't real time like this happened yeah in the past so if that's the case maybe the vent smoke or germa maybe germa had enough time to get away from whole cake island and get to egghead island potentially you know the thing though it it's interesting right say what i said it's interesting because there's still the possibility that they just arrived, right? Like, they just got putting in left. Oh, you mean, um... Because, I mean, she's still, like, beat up, right? But it, it, I'm, the, the, I'm pretty sure the ship was... They, they came on the ship, right? Uh... Man, she is a little bruised up, right? Uh Yeah. I don't know, because then Alkiji should be there as well. Is the... Alkiji should I'm be... I'm pretty sure in the cover... Yeah, yeah, they're on the ship. So it, they could have still just wrote it. Never mind. I mean, but it is it is a possibility, because we don't know, like, the restriction on Augur's teleportation. I mean, unless Blackbeard been, like, abusing the hell out of uh, Pudding. <laughs> and that's I mean, why she's true. still beat up, you know. But because of the warp warp fruit, it, it it still leaves it up to a possibility that they just teleported there, like right one log out there. Yeah, I mean it, it could be the case but, uh, as well. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm I, just throwing it in there. I I think it more have happened during Wano. But. I would think Alkiji would be present as well since they just showed up, you know what I mean? Right. And Alkiji doesn't seem like he's nowhere in sight. It doesn't seem that way, you know. He could be there, you know what I mean? Could just be watching all this go down, but... I mean, so, so are a lot of the other ones. Uh, a lot of the other what? Uh, Blackbeard. Uh, captains oh. and Titanic captains or whatever oh yeah because Ka- because Katarina DeBond's not there we haven't seen Shiryu in either of uh, like the islands Boas and uh, Big Moms yeah because Katarina Devon was at uh, uh, Amazon Lily yeah yeah like so- Vas- was Vasco shot so I don't know yeah, yeah it, it's tough. It's tough to determine when all this was, and you know, and and I wonder how long. Oh, oh, oh well, well, the whole and Amazon it Lily it, thing was during Wano, right? It was happening during Wano. Yeah, that. Yeah, uh, my my best guess is like soon after the disbanding of the Shishibukai. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's what I was thinking. Um. But yeah, so uh but we we also haven't seen Kobe on the ship either. That's true. That's true. Oh uh, we Maybe he's at ha- wait, Hashinosu wait. uh maybe he's at like uh the island, uh Fuller Laid Island. Because that wait, they know that um Wait, but Kobe was like taken like right before I, he he was taking. Oh uh, wait, no, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. I went back and reread. Yeah. So uh. So yeah, man, we got. Uh, I I also kind of want to talk about like some of the Blackbeard events, right? Like stuff that was going on 
Blackbeard versus Law. You know, I, I think a dope point of this chapter was we kind of see the crews get involved. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We we even mm-hmm. see Law's crew being useful, which yeah. I was shocked. <laughs> I was actually a bit shocked because I was like, man, they don't ever fight. You know, we had, uh, what's the name? Uh, 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 Shachi? Shachi and yeah. Penguin? Like attacking from the from the ocean or from the sea, it's like, are these guys like like what's up with them? Like they using the sea like they know like some fishman abilities or something where they're possibly fishmen. Like they don't look like fishmen. What's up? With yeah, them? that yeah, that's really interesting. Like Sachi being able to like blow the water. <laughs> yeah, like. like... <laughs> even like gets fat <laughs> yeah like I, i've never seen a human outside luffy do something like that right you know what i mean like like be able to uh i mean i guess when you we get stuff where we get like luffy and chopper eating you know chopper gets fat uh you know like characters get fat when they eat a lot but just being able to like hold retain that much water and shoot it like a freaking uh, a pistol you know like that that's like some fishman stuff right there i'm i'm just getting fishman vibes out of uh hachi and, and penguin man i'm getting fishman vibes and pink uh and, uh what's his name was useless still uh Be- beppo <laughs> beppo is still useless uh, maybe Oda saving him you know, I'm I mean, sure it, it's going to turn around in this fight. I'm pretty sure you excited about that because you, you've been capping for uh, Beppo lately. I mean, why hasn't Oda showed his too long yet? A too long Beppo. Like, he could have he, he done it in Wano. He could have, you know, but I don't know, man. Beppo just been underwhelming for a, a right hand, man. I'm just, but seeing how the other law pirates are actually being pretty useful and and, and and fight, maybe Beppo does have something up his sleeve. Maybe Sulong Beppo is going to be a problem. I, I mean, I don't think he's going to be a problem to like Blackbeard, but you know, because like uh, when Oda did like the the right hand, um, like cover page. Mm-hmm. You know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. And uh, he had Beppo there. And then, like, in an SPS after that, he, like, kind of explained that Sachi, Penguin, and uh, Beppo all are kind of like that. But, and then he went on to say, but uh, Sachi and Penguin has, uh, have seen Beppo's too long form. And yes. they, they called it, like, pretty damn powerful, pretty much. Yeah. Because uh, I mean, I mean, Oda himself is hyping up Beppo's too long. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not saying Beppo's too long. He's not strong too long, but I don't think he's like, I don't think he's gonna be in the, like, he's not. I don't think his too long form isn't gonna be any like grander than any too long that we've seen already. Like, am I, I I can see it being better than like carrots, right? And we seen yeah. what Car- we seen what carrot did when she went too long. You know, she was able to pretty much uh, handle Dafugu's fleet by herself, right? And and she, you know, and Dafugu wasn't much of a problem either, even though they didn't really fight. But you know, uh, Dafugu was trying to stop her, but he couldn't. But uh, so I, I could see Sulong being like Sulong Beppo being stronger than like Carrot. You know what I mean? But. Like, I can see him being stronger than Nekomamushi in Dog Storm. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's possible, though. It's possible. I don't, because I, he still is the right hand of law. You know what I mean? So, and 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 you look at Nekomamushi and uh, Inu, uh, in Dog Storm, Inurashi, or is it, yeah, Inurashi, uh, when you look at them, they're old, right? Like, they're a lot older, so. Maybe their f- too long form isn't 
its prime like it once been. You know what I mean? Like maybe they're not in their prime like they used to be. So, you yeah. know, maybe Beppo, like Beppo probably in his prime. So, you know, he could probably. I mean, he, he is a good fighter. <laughs> Yeah, that too. And, and he's, got he, his, he's got his kung, kung fu shit. <laughs> yeah, he do. And he does got more experience fighting as well because he's out on the seas. And, and that's the thing. Law, like they're actually, they're actually like in their home territory right now. <laughs> I mean, they pretty much say that. So I think like a polar bear Sulong in the water. Yeah, would actually be pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah. And they are like the strongest bear. The polar like bears. Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Polar bears are like stronger than grizzlies and uh, black Look, bears. I, and I, I, I think, I think, I think Beppo. I, oh look, okay. I don't think Beppo is garbage <laughs> by any means. I'm not saying he's garbage. I just, I just don't think he's gonna be enough to deter Blackbeard. Is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? I don't think he'll Because, be I mean, he could take out Doc U. He could. He could. And, I mean, Black Zulong Bear. is fast, so he, he maybe could blitz Van Auger. Like, yeah. depending on, like, if, if he has restrictions on his uh, warp fruit or not. Yeah. Like, there's, like, a charge time before he could teleport. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I don't I mean it seemed like he actually has to save warp to warp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was something that that was definitely something I caught. Like when he went to go save Blackbeard, and he pretty much like warp and then teleports. Mm-hmm. So uh, speaking of Blackbeard, right? Blackbeard, his whole crew are a bunch of Devil Fruit users at this point. You know, like yeah, Law said like, hey. uh... Now you got a bunch of anchors attached to you, you know, mm-hmm. which I, oh, I keep, I've been going, I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about this the last few days, like having a crew full of devil fruit users, right? Is that, is that like something that is a good decision? You know, like you got a bunch, like nobody could save the other, right? Like, especially at least mm-hmm. as far as the main crew, cause it seems like they got a lot of underlings you know like a lot of underling pirates that uh like fodder guys right so maybe some of those fodder guys don't have devil fruits you know they could save go out there and save. do you think that's like a, a good idea to have a crew full of devil fruit users though as far as like your main fighting force or would I you mean, like that... a more more well-rounded you know crew like shanks or or, or luffy you know well, I mean, for Shanks' crew, I don't think anybody has a double fruit at all. Mm. Because I, I think, like, what Oda's going to do with that, uh, with that is have, like, a Blackbeard Shanks. Yeah. And, like... No double fruit. I, I think he's... All double fruits. Yeah, yeah. And I think Oda's going to flip, uh, like what Kaido said about a hockey over devil fruit mm. with that and have like Shanks's crew lose. Yeah. And I mean, because like Luffy's crew is that like well-rounded crew. Yeah. Yeah. You got a bunch of devil fruits, a bunch of non devil fruit users. Yep. Yeah. And, and I it, always... it just depends on where you're going to fight. Really? Yeah, and yes, the they're pirates, so <laughs> out on the sea, especially if you're gonna go out of your way to go into a sea bot- battle with only devil fruit users. Yeah, and uh, it just kind of made me think because a lot of people, you know, I see a lot of discussions where people, where somebody would say, "Hey, like the 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 topic about, like, hey, if you have any devil fruit, what would you have?" and then I see a bunch of people saying, oh, I'll just be a hockey master. like, And I'm like, and to me, that always been kind of like silly because people get this idea that if you don't have a devil fruit, you'll just be a, a a hockey master. Or if you do have a devil fruit, you couldn't be a hockey master. 
you know, which mm-hmm. always kind of like made me, it just kind of made me like, that's kind of a stupid statement in my opinion. Cause it's like, we, like the main character is a devil fruit user and he's been mastering hockey. Right. So it, yeah. it, it's, it's not like you can't be both, right? Like you can't have a devil fruit mm-hmm. and be like yeah. super skilled at, at hockey. So it, it, to me, it's just a lot of people get this idea that you can only have one or the, one or the other. You can only be great with hockey or you could have a devil fruit, but you can't, mm-hmm. you know, be a, a devil fruit user that's great with hockey. And I'm like, bro, Luffy, our main character proves that that's not true. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's just so to me. That's why I feel as though even with Blackbeard having all these Devil Fruit users, they could still be very great with hockey. Like their hockey could match up with Shanks's crew as well. You know what I mean? Right. You know that's why I always kind of look with Kaido. I'm like, I was expecting when he said that that he was going to pull out some some hockey, some hockey awakening. You know what I mean? But never came to be. Never came to be. <laughs> but I do kind of like the idea of having more of a, a mixed bag of crew, though, right? Like, not everybody having Devil Fruits, but having some Devil Fruit users with, you know, some not being oh, Devil Fruit users. So, you know. Yeah. That, that was always kind of my... Sure. But yeah, uh, anything uh, you got to add? Like anything stuck out with you when it comes to the whole Blackbeard versus Law uh, portion of the of the uh, chapter? Um, no, nah, I think I got it. Pretty much everything I wanted to say about that. Okay, and um. One part, one, one part of this chapter that just kind of just didn't make sense to me was the whole Ak- Akainu uh, portion, you know, where we got the, that small panel with Akainu. It's like, like why? <laughs> like, am I alone on that to feel like what purpose did this serve? Like, like. Um, I f- <laughs> I feel like Oda just put this part in the chapter and it just didn't really give us anything, you know. Like, oh, here's Akaino talking about how he's frustrated because he, he's frustrated as Fleet Admiral and he can't do anything or whatever. But it didn't give us anything like him saying like, hey, uh, I'm going to send somebody there or, you know. Uh, it, I, think so. well, I think we'll get like a sword reaction to it. Like yeah. uh, that... Because I mean, like that, they're like the opposite of what a Kainu can do right now. Yeah. Because like their whole thing, like his whole thing is like the shield or whatever, and they're, and then you have sword. And so the, there's the ones that can act that actually just go out and do stuff. Yeah. I mean, like, so I I think that's what the only thing I got from like the kind of panel. Yeah. Like having a sword intervention in the Blackbeard law fight because if Blackbeard still has Kobe on the ship or if he's at full oh. lead, we like don't maybe know. Maybe they try to get Kobe back in the middle of yeah, the fight. Yeah, like like Goku guard pulling up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I I wouldn't mind like somebody interfering in that fight just to you know keep Law away from Blackbeard, but like allow Law to survive, you know. And then but, that that would also give Blackbeard more of a reason to back out, like, or that he just decides to fight them instead of Law. Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel as though like we've been getting a lot of Blackbeard stuff lately, a lot mm-hmm. of Blackbeard and. I have no complaints about that. I just hope Oda keeps giving us more Blackbeard stuff. And Oh, yeah. I, I definitely want to see more of the fight. I don't want it to be like we get like the ace ending. Yeah, yeah. All right, so kind of moving on from the whole Blackbeard and everything. Um, going back to 
where we get we get Jimbe pretty much talking about Kuma. You know, we get that whole Jimbe, Kuma, Jory Bonnie, Luffy, and Chopper moment, right? So, yep. all right. So Jimbe pretty much like, hey, you know, talking to like, hey, Kuma's not this great guy or whatever, you know, and, and Jory Bonnie eventually, you know, at first I was kind of like, is she even going to defend her pops? Like, is she going to defend him? But she did. She said, you know, he's not, um, like, he's not all that, you know, he's not a tyrant. He's not any of that, which, you know, I don't believe, uh, I, I definitely didn't believe that Jim Bay, well, I didn't believe Kuma was this bad character, right? So, um, like, like, what was your take on that whole situation? You know, like, do you, do you believe, do you believe the whole situation where Jum, where Kuma's a tyrant or do you think Kuma just like, like where could that have came, came from, right? Like where could that have came from with Kuma being a tyrant? Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just wondering like when, when it all happened. Like really, because like, it, like he's never seemed like he, that. He's never seen like a like tyrant. He's always like he he's always seemed like a good guy or whatever. Yeah. Like even through what he's done to the crew, but he also what he's done for them, and then like the connection with the revolutionaries. Yeah, like I don't think he is. So yeah, like I kind of believe, like I believe that Kuma. Kuma must have had to learn something or, or it could be his race, right? Like we, that's another thing. we. Oh, yeah, that, that was something else too. You know, but it, it had to, something had to happen to where the world government felt the need to, uh, like slander Kuma's name to the eyes of the public and possibly his kingdom. You know what I mean? Like right. something had to happen to where, where the world government must have convinced Kuma's like subjects, his people, that he wasn't good or that he was trying to do something bad to him. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what I'm thinking. Maybe because he wouldn't comply. You know, maybe mm-hmm. they maybe they wanted to take him because of his race or whatever, and he wouldn't comply. You know, maybe like, Kuma must have known something. Or go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, like, because, like, Oda always has, like, the fallen king. Like, it'd probably be, like, something that happened with King Riku. Yeah. Like, maybe it's, like, when he started becoming, like, a pacifista or whatever. Like, the experiments on him were, was fucking him up. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it, he could have been programmed to do it. I, like. Yeah. Oh, so and think... then they just manipulate the information. Uh, like if if he were to like actually like do what Jim Bay said. Yeah. So you think maybe he became a pacifist, a wild king? Maybe like that. That's that's just like the only way I could see him actually being a tyrant. But... Yeah. Yeah. See, I kind of have it. I mean, it is his head, epitaph right? too. So like. I, I see. I kind of believe that he was ran out of the kingdom before become pacifista, and and between that time and becoming pacifista, he might have been working with the revolutionaries, right? I mean, he could right. also been a king while he was working with the rev, revs as well, and maybe that's a part of why the world government wanted to ruin his name, you know, towards right. his kingdom because he was working with the revs. But um, because I kind of think like. Maybe he was a king. Maybe the world government wanted something or he knew something or he was working with the revs. So they ruined his reputation as a king. And so his kingdom like booted him out, you know, or they ran him off. Maybe he did some type of coup. And then maybe during that time he was working with the revs and end up getting caught and, and maybe like a, a mission or something. So, during that, while becoming a prisoner, 
You know, because now I, th- I think about, like, Jory Bonney talking about, like, he would never have done that, right? He would have never became a a cyborg. He would have never volunteered to become a cyborg. That's worse than death. Something had to push Kuma to become a cyborg, right? Maybe to save his kingdom, you know, because despite his kingdom turning their backs on him, maybe he still loved his kingdom and he wanted to pr- protect them, you know, because... It could have been like a situation where the royal government took, you know, they came in and took over and and the the kingdom was cool with it, but the world government might have had like some bad plans for the kingdom just to manipulate Kuma and the the the, the citizens wasn't aware of it, but Kuma might have been aware of it. It was like, look, hey, I'll turn myself in, just don't do nothing to my kingdom. Or Maybe he was trying to save Jory Bonnie. Yeah. yeah. You know. Could be both. Could be both. You know. You know, maybe one of them maybe turning himself in was to save the king the kingdom, the citizens. Maybe becoming a cyborg was to save Jory Bonnie though. You know what I mean? That's kinda that's kinda what I'm thinking. You know, yeah, yeah, that's like, uh, that does sound good though. So. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, I'm in, I'm very interested to see how it turns out, but yeah, what, what you're saying is sounds pretty likely to me at least. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we also seen a lightsaber during this chapter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> more star wars i bet cube was really happy about that yeah man like that was dope to see a lightsaber uh it just made me i kind of wanted to bring it up because i believe that um maybe it could be a a a upgrade for somebody right maybe Mm -hmm. a lightsaber could be an upgrade for one of the straw hats so i started thinking who could who could use a lightsaber right I thought Zoro, but I was like, yeah, Zoro seems nah. more for like <laughs> normal blades. So I think I have two candidates, one of two candidates that makes the most sense in my opinion. You could probably add three, but uh, I would say number one would probably be Frankie. Yep. You know, just imagine, you know, Shogun Frankie with a, a lightsaber, right? Yep. Or, or even normal Frankie with a lightsaber, you know. Even though Frankie's not much of a sword. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Second, definitely think it would be more like towards the General Frankie. Yeah. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though General Frankie has a sword already, but hey, if, if uh, yeah, be upgrading it. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And and if Frankie do get like a another mech in his uh, collection. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's Ooh. say he, he builds another, me- a bigger mech, a underwater mech, or a, or one yeah. that could survive in space or something, right? So, you know that 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 mech could have a a, a, a lightsaber. Mm-hmm. But the other person I thought about it that I I, I thought could use it, uh, and now I even got a third person as well, but um. Or no, I have a fourth person. Cause I said I got a third person, like right before I. Um, so I got a fourth person. A fourth person. Second person, <laughs> I, I figure could use it. Uh, is Usopp? <laughs> is Usopp? And I know it's, it might be a little. Uh, that might this might be a reach, because um, Usopp's a sniper. But if he had like some a, a, a close range weapon, right? Give. Usopp mm-hmm. a close range weapon so when the enemy gets close to him he could defend himself you know so so I would say Usopp potentially and third person third person I thought would be Sanji raid suit Sanji yeah. I, I, I think I think it works I, with a raid suit huh I don't think the raid suit's coming back though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm still I'm holding out hope. Now Sanji's kind of least likely because he's not really much of a 
a hand to hand fighter, right? Like he doesn't like using. Oh yeah, he does. He doesn't his, fight with his hands. Yeah, <laughs> only he does cooking. Yeah, but but he say he doesn't like blades, right? Like he he's good with a mm-hmm. blade, but he would be opposed to swords because he used blades for cooking. But if it's a lightsaber, yeah. if it's a lightsaber, maybe he'd be more open to using it as a weapon. Because it's not a traditional, it's not like a blade, right? So mm-hmm. maybe he be, wouldn't be opposed to using it. And if we get the, the Sanji versus Kizaru fight, if that, because that's, I know that was kind of like a lot of people was talking about that. Kizoro fights with like a a, 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 a a light sword that he creates. Oh, he, yeah. He fights with a lightsaber. So if Sanji was the fighting lightsaber versus lightsaber action, just Group. saying, just saying, <laughs> just saying. be crossing lightsabers. Hell yeah. But uh, unless Zoro gets it and fights Kizoro and, you know, his... Let's say his normal swords don't work, even though normal swords should work because Rayleigh was able to uh, cross blades with Kizaro. So I don't see why it yeah. shouldn't work. Um, yeah. Just can you coat the light in hockey? Yeah. Yeah. The fourth person, the fourth person I would think could use this potentially is Nami. If, if Nami could somehow integrate it in her climb attack. Like if, if mm-hmm. Vegapunk could integrate the lightsaber technology in the climb attack, this could this could definitely be a dope power up with Nami. You know, even though she has the, the power up of Zeus, which is a yep. great power up for her, I think maybe a lightsaber could could be a, a power up for Nami. Yeah, like like of course that's why you have like her the lowest, but like um, I think it's gonna be more like just the nature changing stuff that the island can do. Yeah, I think that's gonna be like her upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm true. I'm pretty sure like like I, I'm getting the feeling like most, if not all, the crew are gonna be able to get an upgrade from this island. Yeah, speaking of the technology of the island, right? Uh, and shout out to Angel he's in the chat I guess he can't talk I don't know why but he says Usopp he was mad at Usopp but he liked Sanji it's Sanji uh. <laughs> so speaking of technology right like fast forward to the chapter we we learned that uh, Vegapunk could pretty much use Pyrobloid right which Speaking of Nami controlling the weather and, and getting an upgrade, imagine if she could create power blowing with her climb attack. You know what I'm saying? Like all the uses oh, yeah. she she could use with power blowing. You know, like she could create clouds and she could use those to kind of like fly, I guess. You know what I mean? Like let's say she creates these clouds and, you know, she could run on the clouds and just keep creating them. You know that might it'd be hella mm-hmm. useful for her in the fight, like if she's fighting somebody with like flying abilities or somebody who could like move around a lot more, or even pyro blowing the fact that it's it's somewhat like solid, right? The fact that it has some solidity uh, to it, she could create possibly create weapons with the pyro blowing. Yeah. You know. So, but yeah, that's 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 interesting. How uh, you know her being able to use pyro, blo- the potential of her using pyro blowing, and I don't know how. Like, could she even use pyro blowing to separate Zeus from the climb attack potentially, or is Zeus like stuck in the actual staff of the? Like I, I think I, I don't think that's possible. I think Zeus is stuck in the staff. I don't know if he could yeah. like separate himself with like a power blowing cloud, you know. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think he's within the cloud or within the te- climate tech. So I think he's pretty much stuck there, right? But uh, all right. I, another thing. I, I, there was a point that I kind of wanted to talk about that I brought up earlier that I wanted to talk about, and um, I think like this part of the this it was like this portion of the chapter, and that was. Zoro and Brooks staying back. Mm-hmm. I think Oda was very intentional with Zoro and Brooks staying back. Why? You know, why do I think that? I don't think I think I don't think like like I've said before. I've said this before. I don't think Vegapunk has anything for Zoro and Brooke as far as right. upgrades. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's the perfect reason. Plus, somebody has to stay at the ship. You know, that's normally how it is when they go off on their adventures. Somebody stays on the ship to, to protect it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, them two of all people staying back is just further confirmation for me that Vegapunk does not have anything for those specific characters, right? Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm, I'm going to take it a step further, too. I, I think uh, Zoro's going to talk to Brooke about him seeing uh, the Shinigami. Uh, that's true. That's true. Because, like, when, when I first thought, uh, saw it, like, uh, <laughs> I thought, like, as a joke, I thought it would be funny if, like, if it was just Brooke coming to yeah. save Zoro. Yeah, I think a lot of people... just, like, hallucinating. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But then, like, it, it, it was shown later that Brooke wasn't even close. Nah, nah. Definitely so, wasn't. I... Th- but I think Zoro would still maybe think that, depending on what happened. Yeah. Like, Brooke, was you... Was you sh- but what would Brooke know, though? You know, like how would Brooke be? Well, he would to... just say no, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that's and all. So like, we, like Zora could just see and say, "Oh, okay," <laughs> or, yeah. or go more into it because of like Brooke's soul powers and him actually dying. Yeah, that's where I was getting at. Like, I was thinking maybe Brooke's ability could give him some insight on what happened. I don't know what though. You know, I don't know how he would be able to give insight, but I kind of figured... Because he he could ask, like, hey, what did you see in the grave before you died? Yeah, yeah. So, like, just him, his experience of actually dying in the story. And oh, Oda having like those Brooke's two. Experience. Yeah, 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 Brooke's experience, yeah. Like, maybe Brooke's seen the Shiniga, or the, uh, the Grim Reaper. Exactly, well. yeah. Yeah, that's... Good point. Good point. Maybe Brooke seen the Grim Reaper so he could explain to Zoro. Yeah, so man. I think I think that question is going to be answered pretty quickly. Like, at least in this arc. Like, what happened with Zoro. Yeah, yeah. And the Shinigami. Yeah, because I personally don't see much of what Vegapunk could do for Zoro. I know a lot of people say oh, yeah. Black Blades, but, nah. like, how much does someone like Vegapunk know about Black Blades, like, like I, I think I, Vig, Black Blades are more like a, a something swordsman or or, where, or more familiar with, because I don't I don't so, know if there's like a science to it, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. I like he he could have studied it or whatever, or just know about it, but I think it, it it's definitely more likely that Zoro learned that like at his Ryoma grave like visit. Mm-hmm. And if that's what it is, I think that uh, we'll find out what happened then, like with the Mihawk fight, yeah, yeah. or the Shiryu fight, depending on how it goes. Yeah, because it ain't guaranteed that he fighting Mihawk. You know, I've said before. I think, I think Mihawk could potentially die by Shiryu. Like maybe Shiru like kills me. Like maybe, maybe uh, Blackbeard's crew like jumps Mihawk or something or gets involved and 
and uh distracts Mihawk and kills him or whatever. You know, and then it, it robs Zoro from that that you know, his dream. So he has to defeat uh Shiro instead, you know, and it's more of a personal matter, you know. But you know, but then that kind of mirrors my Shanks being killed by Blackbeard, and I don't know if Shanks and Mihawk dies. If 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 I had to choose who's more likely to die out of Mihawk and Shanks, I would have to probably go with Shanks. Yes. You know, and that's more of towards like Luffy not giving the the straw hat back. So you know, that's kind of my uh. You know, Mihawk, I still think Zoro could end up fighting Mihawk, though. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely hope we get Zoro versus Mihawk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, all right. So, uh, going back to the... To when the Straw Hats, they get their new drip. They get this arc's drip of... T- of the drip of the arc, right? <laughs> you said Robin has the best drip. By far. Uh, yeah, I think I, I like Usopp's as well. You know, I think Usopp probably nice little number two. You know, I like the jacket. Yeah. Uh, and I think his shoes kind of match with the jacket a lot better. You know. <laughs> uh, Sanji, the the uh, Sanji shoes just kind of. Throw off his his uh, other fit because it's like it's like futuristic, <laughs> it's futuristic, and then it's beach. Yeah, <laughs> it's like pick one, bro. Pick a struggle. You know, <laughs> can't really see Frankie too much though. Yeah, you just like see the, like the top. I don't really guy. like the top. <laughs> it makes him seem more like tech. Tech. The scene makes him seem more like a, a cyborg though. So I guess it kind of... 500 years in the future, we're still using wind-up keys. (laughs) (laughs) It's like one of them, uh, you know, them uh, things that just a lot of cartoons and media kind of show when they do cyborgs, they got to have like a wind-up key or something. I I don't know. (laughs) It's always on the back, though, not on the head. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. I've I've seen some stuff where it's like, on their uh, their their head, you know, I've I've seen some stuff like that, so it, I don't think it's that much of a stretch. No, I definitely know what he's going for, but <laughs> it's just funny. Like, yeah, he's some wind up key. <laughs> it it kind of remind me of a character off of like Hellraiser or something, <laughs> like one oh, of yeah. the Cenobites or that. I don't know if you ever watch Hellraiser, but not. Nah, I haven't watched it. It's like a it's a it's a horror movie which a bunch of freakyish looking characters. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, we got Mike X two thousand and one X. He says, "How do you like one thousand and sixty four? Oh yeah, we de- I, I definitely enjoyed one thousand sixty four. We got a lot of Blackbeard stuff, um, a little bit of stuff about Kuma. You know, I like Kuma. It's one of my favorite characters. So." And it, the fact that we're getting more backstory of Kuma is definitely for me a win-win. So that that on top of getting Blackbeard, on top of how the the, the uh, chapter end, which we're about to talk about, all all those great chapter. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. You know, you know. So. But speaking of the last part of the chapter where we get Vegapunk talking to Monkey D. Dragon. And he tells Monkey D. Dragon like, hey, as a, as a genius, we tend to know our own futures. And therefore, I believe my life is coming to an end soon. You know? And then he says, I wanted you to hear that dragon. Let us know we're talking about dragon. It's it's so much it, it's so much to to really you you can expand on when it comes to this part alone. What was you gonna say? Uh, the official translation for it. 
Yeah, he says, I suspect that my death is imminent. And then yeah, Dragon says, like stop telling thing. bad jokes. Huh? Like the ending part, like the, because it's like, so I wanted you to hear me out. Like, oh, like he got what more to say to him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that's definitely worth talking about. Um, one thing, uh, one thing I wanted to uh, mention was the fact that he knew about his death, right? I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll talk about that too. We'll definitely talk about that too. But how uh, how did Vegapunk, I guess, realize that you know he could be dying? Man. Somebody or, or or you know, the world government has intentions to kill him. You know what I mean? Well, like my my whole uh, like thinking of it is that he's been on the verge of death for a while now, and like that, that's like why he had to do his clones in the first place. So you think that maybe he think he's about to die naturally, and and he doesn't and know the, about yeah, the world government actually trying to kill him. I mean, he probably knows that, yeah. So with that on top of like his condi- condition if it's that like for sure okay okay cuz i th- i definitely believe that he knows that the world government has intentions to kill him because i i think he knows that they know what he's been doing you know like the fact that he allowed kuma to protect the straw hat stri- ship the uh, sunny you know, and the, I think that's like something that he is about to tell Dragon, like about what what he did to Kuma and why he did it. Okay. Before he dies, especially with Kuma being with Dragon right now. Yeah. So you think he might say a way to save Kuma? Potentially. Yeah, and. I think that solution might have something to do with the Seraphim coming to Egghead Island, honestly. Right. You know? Because I think the Seraphim are like clones. I don't think they're like necessarily cyborgs. I think they're like actual organism, organic. I think, yes. You know? Because I think they've been spliced with some Lunarian DNA, the DNA of each of the Shichubukai, which, which makes me think like, could, could uh, Kuma have could could Seraphim Kuma have the same abilities potentially, right? Like maybe if if Vegapunk is able to replicate Devil Fruit abilities, maybe he could have put that in the Seraphim. And well, it, it, it has been stated that they don't. Oh, unless it, it, unless they've been lying. Well, because they they even said that uh, the Seraphim didn't have Kuma's abilities. Oh, okay. When we saw CP zero, okay. Oh, that's and another. The, the, and the bow seraphim didn't have the fruit. Yeah, and that's another thing about Kuma, or or about Vegapunk. Why I think the world government wants to kill Vegapunk because he lied to him about the devil fruit mm-hmm. that uh, Momonosuke. I think that's probably the main thing, or it might this might Ooh. be the the last straw, if anything. Right, Cause, right. Because they probably. Forgave him for the Kuma stuff, or overlooked it maybe if they even know about right. it. But the fact that because we even seen CP Zero was talking about that Devil Fruit, or was it CP Zero? Yes. About how it was a failure. But lo mm-hmm. and behold, you got this big dragon that's like Kaido, right in front of your faces, <laughs> that came from yep. another Devil Fruit. You know what I mean? So, uh, Mike. Absolutely. Mike says the only reason I can think of is his secret plot with Kuma and his connecting with Dragon. Yeah, I, we're about to talk about his connection with Dragon as well. Um, but I think I do agree that the his plot with Kuma, like helping Kuma and all that, has something to do with it. But I'm kind of thinking that the Devil Fruit. That he created the artificial devil fruit that Momonosuke ate. I think that that might be 
the last straw for the world government. You know what I mean? But yeah, they you're care right. About though. Like what? I really don't think they care about like what he did to Kuma. You don't think they care about what he did to Kuma? Yeah, like making him into an end or a cyborg or whatever. Oh, we talk. I think we're talking about the world government. No, I yeah, think. Well, well, I think when he said the plot with Kuma was like how he was, how Kuma was helping the Straw Hats, and he was oh, kind of oh, going maybe. against the world government at times. Yeah, I think that's what he meant. The secret plot with Kuma. Um, okay, I thought he meant like just what he did to Kuma. Yeah, because they they benefited greatly from <laughs> what he did to Kuma. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So let's talk about what, what you brought up about him wanting Dragon to hear him out. Because yeah, I I think that's gonna be like a connection back to Kuma about like what he did to him because I mean he has the the connections to Dragon and then like what what they what he's done to one of their members or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I think he wants to explain that to Dragon before he dies. Let me ask you this. So do you think this conversation with Vegapunk and and Dragon, do you think it's more of Vegapunk reaching out to Dragon in order to tell him about Kuma or do you think that they have they definitely have that connection? Kind of like what Mike just said like they're like Dragon and Vegapunk have been working with each other for a while. Yeah, right? yeah, that yeah, the they definitely could be he could be like supplying them with like things like with technology and all that. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely think that's a possibility. And that's why he wants to explain to like what what and why he did the Kuma. Yeah. And I, 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 what I'm kind of thinking as well, what, what Vegapunk wants to talk to Dragon about, is maybe s- some way to defeat the Seraphim. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because when you look at the Seraphim, they're going to be big problems for every group that opposes the world government. You know what I mean? And Dragon and... Vegapunk having a relationship, right? Having possibly working together, right? <laughs> Vegapunk created these seraphim for the world government. And now these seraphim are now going to be in play for the world government. They're going to be going against pirates, going against revolutionaries, possibly. So, you know, Dragon is going to have to deal with these things potentially. You know, he's going to have to deal with these things. So maybe Vegapunk is telling uh, Dragon, like, hey, if you deal with these uh, Seraphim, maybe he has, like, some way to turn the Seraphim against the world government. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. But uh, I'm not not too sure. Like, I I think that information on the Seraphim is going to be held on longer, too, than this arc. Yeah, Order 66, man. Order True. 66. Activate Order 66. <laughs> Germa 66. Yep. Germa Vegapunk. Clones. Yep. All that, bro. I'm telling you, we get we getting we getting the Mads reunion. And we're getting yeah, if Vegapunk can make it out of this work. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's dying. I don't, I don't know. If, unless, like you said, he's going, unless he's already dying of natural uh, causes, you know. Yeah, I, I think it's, like, tied to what Caesar did at Punk Hazard. Like, yeah. caused him to be in a bad state. Yeah. So he's basically, like, in suspended animation while yeah. he has his clones running around. <laughs> yeah, but... But man, that's that's all I got for this chapter, man. Um, you got anything to add to this chapter? Something that we missed that we didn't talk about that I didn't bring up that you might have caught or pointed out? Let's see real quick. 
We got, uh, you know, there was some old Luffy, right? There was some oh, old... yeah. There was, like, I know Angel was talking about, like, how, like, the good and bad futures of the Straw Hats and all that. Yeah, I don't really think that, you know. I, you know, I kind of missed. Said, I don't know. I don't really think. I think it was just poor gag, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, same. I agree. Uh, Mike says, well, if these new pacifistas really are clones with the dates of the Lunarians, uh, they might have the same weakness like King has. What that or what means if they speed up, they can be hurt when, the, um, yeah, that's probably most likely going to be a factor of them, but they're probably also going to be genetically modified beyond you know what I'm saying? Like they might even be stronger than normal Lunarians because they also got DNA of some strong characters as well. So, you know, you just add in, you know, this DNA of these strong characters with DNA of this strong this race of strong individuals. But yeah, um that probably will be somewhat of a weakness. I could see that. Unless Vegapunk found a way around that weakness. You know what I mean? Cause that could be the case too. Maybe it's a weakness that Vegapunk was able to address and fix. You know what I'm saying? So you know that 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 could be that could be the case. Could be the case. But good point. Good point, Mike. But uh, what was you saying? You was you was going to bring up? No, I was just like just looking back through the chapter real quick. Uh, you got any predictions? What could we potentially um, get? Well, I mean, uh, it's probably sword intervention with Blackbeard, with Blackbeard and Law. Yeah, sword intervention. Uh, yeah. I mean, depending on where Kobe is. Yeah. And we we also talked about the potential of Law being captured by a uh, Blackbeard, or or getting yeah. killed. You know, I don't think Law is going to. I don't think he's. I'm not saying I don't think Law couldn't be killed eventually, possibly for his devil fruit, but I don't think it's going to be like Blackbeard killing him in like in this fight. You know, I think Blackbeard might take him, and then you know, when it's time to take his devil fruit. You know, for whatever reason, I mean, he could take the devil fruit now and just hold on to it, right? Like he could do that now, so that's possible as well. But it's just if if Blackbeard has room for Law's devil fruit, right? Like if he has somebody who needs a devil fruit in his crew, and you know, or if he wants to take it for himself, I don't know about that. I don't know if I think Blackbeard wants Law's devil fruit. What's up? Like, if Law's captured, like, all, all I could see is, like, him just trying to force him to do the surgery. That's it. And then, like, if he wanted to kill him, if he would kill him, like, he has Kobe to force feed the fruit. <laughs> and then make him learn medical science. Make Law, make Kobe do it. But I would yeah. think Blackbeard <laughs> will realize that he's not going to force Kobe or Law to do that surgery. Like, I would think he'd be like, eh, I'm not going to force him to do it. So it's whatever, man. You know, so I think. Why wouldn't he, though? <laughs> I'm not like, saying why he wouldn't. Why wouldn't he want to have the, the youth, this youth surgery done? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't think. I think Blackbeard realizes, or I, I think he's smart enough to know that Law probably wouldn't do it, even if he tortures him, you know. Right. So it would just be like wasting his time. Like he just, you know, him or Kobe. Like he might, or he I might think try, he would try, but I don't. He <laughs> yeah, could. I think he, would try. <laughs> and he, he might try, but it's going to get to a point where he's going to be like, Dan, this guy's not going to do it. So he's going to have to figure something else out. He's going to have to find somebody else. Well, then that's else. when you just kill him. <laughs> well, I'm saying he's going to have to find somebody else to do it. Yeah. And then that's when he's going to have to kill Law. Kill Law at least, like maybe not Kobe so much, but he's going. To, I don't think he wants. I think I think Blackbeard wants uh, Boa Hancock's devil fruit, because I think 
there's something about her devil fruit other than the fact that it's just uh it's a hex fruit i think there's something about her devil fruit that he wants that it, it serves as a function you know because he 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 hasn't really hinted at wanting law's devil fruit this whole time they've been fighting like the only thing he hinted that he wanted was the poneglyph rubbins and he could just sell the and damn that, thing and, that, and that's pretty much it <laughs> That's true. He could sell it, but you got a, you got a devil fruit like Law's devil fruit. That that's something you use right there, man. That is something you use. You don't just sell the op op no me. <laughs> it's like well, I mean, if you're on invaluable. a crew, nobody can use it. Because <laughs> I mean, your doctor's already ate a fruit, so. But there has to be. There's still a couple characters we don't know if they got devil fruits though. There's Vasco shot. There's uh. Emperor, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name. Pizzolo. He, yeah, P- Pizzolo, there's him. Um, I think those are the only two that we don't know about yep. them having a the devil fruit. But uh, San Juan Wolf, but some some people say he got a devil fruit that makes him big. I, I never really recall that being a devil <clears throat> fruit effect, but that's what I've heard. Uh, Mike says... For me, there are two options for the end of the fight. Uh, Black Bear wins or Law can somehow escape. That's the question, though. How does Law escape, though? Because they got because he could try to room his way out of that, but you got Van Auger who could teleport to your location. <laughs> so I think if they if Law was to escape, there has to be some uh, some type of distraction. You know what I mean? Something keeping... Blackbeard away from like some taking Blackbeard's attention away from law because he can't ex- he can't like run away because he got uh Auger Auger could just oh you you want to run away Auger teleport me to their location bam you know uh then you say I can't think of law beating back Blackbeard I agree with you on that I definitely agree with you on that um but yeah I I, I, def, I definitely do agree with you though, uh, Joy Boy. I agree with you that Blackbeard would want to utilize the OP OP no me. You know what I mean? I just don't think Law. I don't think he's going to be able to force Law to do it. Like that's what I'm saying. So I think. Yeah. He's going well, to I have think the to... most the best outcome is just laws getting away from this. Yeah, it's just how how do we get away from it? Like, like he could give up the poneglyphs, uh, someone intervening. Yeah, and to me, I think Blackbeard's main priority is the poneglyphs. Like for some reason, he hasn't hinted at wanting laws devil fruit, you know. And I think Blackbeard probably would have told told him because blackbeard was pretty upfront about wanting boa's devil fruit you know yeah i mean yeah. i like like if law gets defeated to the point i don't i wouldn't see a reason why he wouldn't take it yeah yeah i mean bro that, but does blackbeard even know about the immortality surgery that's that, the question like, i mean he knows about the lunarians yeah, Dolphy knew about it. Dolphy, Dolphy know about it, right? But it's like, and how many people have we heard really even bring up the the uh, immortality surgery and wanting to use it? Because I would think if more people knew about it, more people would be after law. You know what I'm saying? More people would be after law's devil fruit. So, and, and Dolph Mingo is a guy of like means. Like he he he's a he's a savant at getting. Like knowing things, you know what I mean, and, and, and knowing certain information, so it makes sense uh, for uh, Dolphy to know. I mean, so would Blackbeard. He knows, like that's, I said, he knows about Lunarians. Like I, that's I true. I, I wouldn't see why he wouldn't know. I, I mean, like he knows about the road poneglyphs. Like I mean. Blackbeard, he does also, he is also very familiar with devil fruit abilities, right? But, yes, um, yes. I feel as though like, a I mean, lot that's of his whole thing is hunting down devil fruits right now. It's just a matter of how, 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 uh, 
common um, is the knowledge of the immortality surgery, right? Because I could see. I could see Blackbeard learning stuff through his archaeology, right? Like, you know, like learning about uh, histories and stuff. But the Opie Opie know me, you know, even though he does know about a lot about devil fruits, I don't know. Mm. Like, is 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 the Opie Opie know me? Well, I think like a secret also think for the like most the part. Immort- I think uh, like the immortality surgery stuff is like connected to the Void Century too, like with Eam. Like, yeah. like I really, th- I really think Eam has had that surgery done to them. You think Eam has it? Yeah, I think Eam, I think Emu has that surgery done as well. Um, but uh, you were talking about Sandwall's uh, wolf. He he has ate a devil fruit. Okay. It hasn't been revealed what it is, but I mean, he's much bigger than giants, and like when he was, he was big enough to stand like in the ocean, right? And like even like saying he he was he felt weak. Oh, okay, all right. I don't I don't. Cause I was thinking if you was that big and you was in the ocean, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna feel weak to some point. Yeah. Yeah, despite being weak against water, he was tall enough to stand in the ocean. Though Wolf did mention that doing so was exhausting to him. I wonder if he could ride Zoe <laughs> like a horse. <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> He's so goddamn oh, big. Oh, or just a war elephant. <laughs> like Hannibal did. Yeah. But yeah, man, you got any more uh, predictions? Any more, um, any more, like, anything else about the chapter? Any predictions? Um, no, nah, about... I think I've, I've said like pretty much like all my predictions earlier too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all I got as well. Um, Cause like, uh, I definitely think all the crewmates that are on the Island are going to get some kind of upgrade or information. Yeah. Um, that's, that's the discussion for today. I'm excited. We got a break, so we won't be doing any, we won't be doing any chapter post chapter discussion streams until the next chapter comes out. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Or uh, comment down below your thoughts on the discussion. Your thoughts on the chapter. Did you like it? Uh, what's what part stuck out to you the most? Um, what are your predictions? What are some of your speculations? Let me know down in the comments. Follow me on Twitch so you could engage with me in real time. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And join the Discord. Come be a part of the community. Maybe you you could eventually be a part of one of these future discussion streams. And we talk about other stuff like uh, other animes, other series like Chainsaw Man is going on now. I got to catch up. I I only watched the first episode. I got to watch the second episode. Also, Bleach. We got Bleach happening. The greatness of Bleach has returned. The prodigal child has returned. And we talk about that in Discord as well. I also got to catch up on Bleach. I only watched the first episode. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, it's your boy, Sean P., the Blunt guy. And I'm out of here. Y'all have a good evening. Peace.